Good morning everybody and welcome back to the anatomy tutorial series. In this third video I'm going to talk about the sacral plexus and how to draw and remember the nerves arising from this region. The sacral plexus originates from the anterior rami or spinal nerves from L4 to S4. It is formed by the lumbosacral trunk which comes from L4 and L5 and S1, S2, S3 and S4 spinal nerves. First, we label the spinal levels from L4 to S4, then we start drawing the main structure of the sacral plexus, the sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve arises from the anterior rami of L4, L5, S1, S2 and S3. It's formed by the common peroneal division and the tibial division, which will split in the lower thigh. A relevant note about the sciatic nerve is its position below the piriformis muscle, which is likely to cause a condition defined piriformis syndrome. Now let's look at the smaller branches. From L4, L5 and S1 arises the superior gluteal nerve, which innervates the gluteus medius, gluteus minimus and tessor fascia lata muscles. From L5, S1 and S2 originate the inferior gluteal nerve, which supplies the gluteus maximus muscle. From S1, S2 and S3 we have the posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh, also called posterior femoral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. From S2, S3 and S4 arises the pudental nerve, which innervates the inferior pelvis and the genitalia with both motor and sensory information. A way to remember these five nerves is the acronym SSIPP, which is composed by the initials of all nerves sciatic, superior gluteal, inferior gluteal, posterior cutaneous and pudental. If you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to make sure you won't miss future updates. If you have a topic you would like to see, leave me a message in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching. Bella.